The following trailer is rated H for honest. In a first-person shooter genre dominated by military power fantasies and semi-historical cluster f**ks, one shooter will rise and take its place as the awkward middle child of the FPS family. Except this time, that child is a big-ass robot. Titanfall. Enter the world of Titanfall, a should-have-been-obvious mashup of Call of Duty and Gundam, minus the anime, where apparently the most plentiful resource is giant mech suits in an endless interplanetary colony war in a vision of futuristic conflict that's almost as impractical as it is awesome. Slip on the robo-boots of two interchangeable factions of future soldiers and get ready for combat that's half military shooter, half circus acrobatics as you mirror's edge your way around the map with double jumps, slides, wall runs, and grappling hooks. Then use your wacky humming pistol to take down waves of AI opponents designed to make you feel better about yourself until you unlock your Titan and call it out of the sky like a Power Ranger. Then immediately realize that it's about as durable as a stack of wet cardboard boxes as you get blown up by a single dude on your back in a giant robot experience that feels less like Mech Warrior and more like Shadow of the Colossus. Experience the furious action of the original Titanfall, an online-only shooter with huge ambition and extremely limited follow-through with a story mode that was just a normal multiplayer with dudes yelling at you through a Skype window in the corner of the screen, and gameplay that was awesome, fast-paced, and fresh, but didn't quite make up for the lack of robot types, map variety, and post-launch support. Because why spend your money on the first game when you can make money on a sequel? <sighs> I'm sad now. Drop a big robot man into Titanfall 2's campaign mode, as the radio play style of the previous game is abandoned for the real thing and you put on the pilot helmet of the world's most generic white guy protagonist, Jack Cooper. Then blast your way through a series of awesome set pieces and one off gimmick level, loosely connected by as little plot as you can get away with and still call it a story. As you fight to save some colonies you barely care about from an evil they barely explain by exploding a bunch of mercenaries who won't stop getting out of their mech suits. Seriously guy, I can just shoot you right now. Once you've conquered the campaign, get ready for Titanfall 2's frenetic online, where you'll choose from a list of pilots, guns, and mechs that actually feels meaningful this time, doll them up with the ugliest skins you can unlock, and dive into some of the most hectic multiplayer outside of Quake 3, as everyone jets around the map like they're on Cybercrack, grappling each other in the air, until they get swatted by a giant robot fist. You have to fetch shields for your Titan by hand like a futuristic water boy and every round ends with a mad scramble to evacuate or get blown out of the sky. Because nothing underlines a victory like two minutes of rubbing it in. So grease up those gears and get ready for some hot robot on robot on man on robot action. Because if you don't support slightly more creative shooting games, then we're all doomed to infinite Call of Duty sequels until the end of time. Starring Ed 209 Zone of the Enders, Armored Core, The Iron Giant, Optimus Prime, Big O, Showtime, oh, and some humans, I guess, whatever, Titan Balls. So wait a second, you're telling me you can be a robot piloting a bigger robot in this game? Forget everything negative I said. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Game Trailers, and tell me what you'd like to hear me say in my awesome voice. My name is Barry Allen, and I'm the fastest man alive. It's gonna be PP Pant City here real soon. I'm a beautiful princess. Where did I leave the remote? Floor ice cream gives you health. <laughs>